hackers out there wanting to learn something. <clears throat> Today I'm going to show you how to take apart a computer. There's lots of different computers, they all come apart different, but I'm going to give you the idea behind it and uh, you can take it as far as you want. Uh, we're going to start by, what I would get is an impact drill because you're not worried about stripping any kind of bolts or anything like that. Uh, it's going to work better, way faster than a regular drill. So, <clears throat> take these two screws out. First we gotta get inside. Some of the older ones, uh, the easiest way is to just pick them up and slam them on the ground and everything falls apart. Uh, but you'll just figure it out as you go. They're all built and designed differently. This is just gonna be tin. Right, so now we got this piece. I always go through and uh, undo. Usually there's four uh, screws right there. And I usually undo those because that's for the power supply. Just makes it easier. Get the big stuff out of the way. Makes it a lot easier to get to the small stuff. So this is the power supply. Everything in here is going to be worth money. Now when it comes to the power supply, uh, a lot of scrap companies, e-scrap, uh, they buy power supplies with the wire and the insulated copper wire or without it. I'll buy it both ways. Now, depending on where you take your stuff, depends on whether or not you should cut it off. Because uh, they pay more with the wire, but you know we sell insulated wires and we'll get more money selling it to uh, someone who buys insulated wire versus an e-scrap buyer. So I just take these, put them up, throw that in a trash can or a water pool of your insulated wire, then you have the power supply. <laughs> So then I go through and I yank all the other wires so you can see the inside of it. So, you know, we're going to have our hard drive, disk drives. Uh, sometimes you might not think it's worth getting the disk drives out. Just don't mess with them if they're really hard to get to. And depending on how it's designed, just leave them uh, if you want. Then you're going to have the motherboard and the PC cards. Those are the main things we're after. And all the wires. So I go through and yank all the wire out. That's why I'm wearing gloves. It makes it a lot easier to yank all this wire out. And I just kind of get it out of our way. Some of the smaller wire, sometimes I leave it in there. Sometimes I cut it. Depends on how, much, how in depth you want to go. All insulated wire. I'm going to keep all that together. Now, so you can see. I just don't undo all of them even though you don't have to. Then these just pull out. They're just slotted into the motherboard. These are PC cards. These are good value cards. So now I'm gonna go for the processor. There's a heat sink on it. They all have different clips. Sometimes they're really hard to get to. I just pop that one down. Uh, when you get into taking apart servers and stuff like that, most of them actually have instructions written on them. So it makes it really easy. Sometimes you can just take a screwdriver and just pop them off. That's the really easiest way to go about it. And a lot of times, if you're having trouble with the motherboard, a lot of times the screws go all the way through this thing into the motherboard, and uh, you got to make sure you take this off first. That's why I always just go ahead and take it off just in case that's the scenario. It all depends on where you go, uh, where you turn your scrap into. Uh, you can turn these in with the fans on them. Uh, so the scrap yard. We're just going to unscrew them. Take this part off. I don't have a magnet, but it's probably stainless. Uh, this now becomes 6063 aluminum is actually what this is. That's actually, on the scrap side of it, it's a higher grade aluminum. Uh, it's in the 6000 series category, but 6063 aluminum. And it's actually even better if your scrapyard buys uh, painted versus uh, bare extrusion. Uh, you can give a premium price. It depends if they're selling to a primary mill or secondary or maybe both. 
we're going to keep those to the side. <laughs> when you get into the big servers, a lot of times you want to scratch these because a lot of times they're just number two copper. They're just silver coated copper. Uh, and you can tell by the weight, this is real light. Those are going to be really heavy. So now we have the motherboard to take out. Let's look at a wire here. So the motherboard is going to have these little screws all over the place. And once you start taking apart more and more computers, you'll figure it out. And sometimes, depending on the computer, I'll need to get uh, an extension for my bit. Best thing to do is just buy even longer than this. Just buy a really long bit. I took all those screws that were holding it down. I think I got all of them. So this is a lower grade uh, motherboard. Uh, because it's an imported board, well, so <clears throat> it comes from overseas. And the way I know that, just by looking at it, is uh, by the color. If it's color, if it's red, blue, uh, any kind of color, uh, the whole thing itself, if you see that, uh, most likely it's going to be from China. So what I did there was I just popped this open and they're all built differently. You'll, you'll find, you'll come to find. Um, so you'll take that out and you have your processor. Now this is worth your most money out of the computer. Uh, you know, and this one didn't have any memory sticks, but they'd be right here if they did. Uh, actually, sorry, right here. Um, you want to get the gold memory sticks out and separate those, keep them all separate, keep the silver ones separate from the gold ones. Um, if you want to go mining for gold and you have some crazy way that you found on YouTube to extract the gold and uh, go for it, but most of the time we don't like it when people cut the gold off because you know then it becomes uh, harder to sell and uh, it's just I just stay away from it. <laughs> but the CPU processor, whatever you want to call it, uh, this is a lower grade one. Uh, the ceramic ones you want to keep separate. You want to se just separate them by what they look like. You know, that's the best thing that you can possibly do. And it depends on the yard you're going to. Uh, they could have two categories, three, four, 10, 20. I mean, they could have a lot of different categories, but just uh, get all the ones that look alike. That's, that's in your best interest to take all the ones that look alike and, and separate them together. So now we're gonna go in and take the whole hard drive out. case came out, took one screw. They're all built different, remember. You start to get used to them. So then it's still got screws on the side, and that's what's holding it into this thing. And if you want to get paid for a whole hard drive, then you need to take it out of this case. slides out and you're going to have the whole hard drive. Now if you want to, you can break it down even more and uh, you know, you're going to have to have a different bit, but uh, you'll unscrew this and you have a hard drive board. And then you can take all this down. Usually it's uh, going to have some stainless, you're going to have a magnet in there. Uh, you're going to have cast aluminum. Uh, usually the housing is made out of cast aluminum. Uh, you can break it all down if you want to. Uh, we don't break them down. Uh, because the board's worth a lot of money if you take it off and keep them all separate. But again, you know, it's just like any other video that I've made. Uh, it's up to you. You need to do the math. Call the scrapyard you go to. Uh, ask them what they pay for everything. And figure out if it's worth it to you to take it apart. This is all just tin. Most of the frame is just going to be tin. Now I'm going to unscrew these parts right here. So I can get the sticker guys out. Sometimes they come up the back. Sometimes they have little levers here. Sometimes they come out right up the front. Sometimes they have levers, switches, all kinds of 
stupid stuff in there to make your day horrible. Sometimes you just have to get a, uh, just get a screwdriver and just pry it under here and bust the face off the top. Or like I said, you can throw it on the ground and uh, get that to... Uh, Alright, sorry about that. I had a customer come in asking a question. It's not open right now, but it's the gate open. Uh, this is just another disk drive. Anyways, just drives. They're not going to be worth much more than iron. Uh, depends on where you go. They might not be worth more at all. Uh, they might say, what is that? You scrap stuff. Get that all out of here. I don't know. So then, uh, you know, you're left with the case. You can throw all that in the tank. So, uh, just to go over it, the good parts that we pulled out, which that you see, you didn't have any memory sticks in there, full of memory. So what we pulled out was motherboard, it's colored motherboard, if they're green, uh, you want to keep those separate, if they're green, and uh, look for the socket right here. Uh, they have small socket and large socket, the large socket, I want to say they're around like two inches or something like that. If they're large socket, you can keep those separate, if your scrapper buys them separate, some don't, some do. Um, that's actually something I learned on YouTube uh, years and years ago. The large socket motherboards were uh, worth more. And also sometimes you're going to see motherboards. Uh, I'll, I'll go through a couple more computers and see if I can find some. But uh, you're going to see slot cards. Uh, and the slot card is worth uh, more money. And if it's slot card, you know, just depends on how the scrapyard buys it. They could buy it as uh, a large socket motherboard or just slot card motherboard. Uh, but really, the motherboards you're after are the green ones. And the majority of them now that you're going to find in scrap are going to uh, be colored or green and be small socket. The large socket you could keep separate if they buy them that way. And then you have your PC cards. So worth good money too. Keep in mind, you know, try to uh, get as much as you can before you take it to the scrap yard. You're going to get a better price. You got your whole hard drive, like I said, if you want to take it down more, you'll have a hard drive board, which is worth a lot of money, and then you're left with this. You have your heat sink, majority of the time it's going to be aluminum, and then you have your CPU or your processor. It's got a little gold pins. And then if you want to melt it all down and turn it into a gold refiner, you know, it, all this video is is to show you how to take apart a computer. Uh, you know, if the computer's so good, sell it on eBay. Of course, you're gonna make more money. Uh, all I'm doing is trying to show you guys how to scrap stuff uh, in my videos. So, thanks for watching.